you can see that the book really details very, very seriously um, the process by which I m make things, because that's kind of what, really what interests me. From from the very, very conceptual parts at the beginning, where we're I'm modelling in this particular case, modelling things digitally, which has not always been the case, um, to building the thing in in, in reality. And that's just the Gagosian stuff, which kind of... And there's all sorts of other stuff here. Early works in, in carbon fiber, knives, other objects, surfboard that I made for a guy called Garrett McNamara, with Garrett riding the wave. So it's... And the board was actually shown at Gagosian and, and sort of sold as a, as a piece of sculpture. Um, some more recent work, which is a, a bed that I designed for Magus. It's a bunk bed, actually, for, for kids. My kids, specifically. <laughs> Mobile telephones, dating back to 2003. This, this uh, was a big hit in Japan. Ten years old already. It was the thinnest phone on the market at that point in time. You know, things like kitchenware, projects for Nike. This is a pair of shoes I designed for them. Even insignificant things like t-shirts, luggage for Samsonite, and like a sort of an inflatable version of the airplane I designed for Cartier. Um, works, that projects that I've done for uh, Dom Perignon over the years with whom I've had a long-standing collaboration. Things for the kitchen with Smeg. Uh, more packaging for a Japanese company this time called Ajinimoto. And work for um, for Tashin, the publisher, I've actually designed a number of um, different packaging for Tashin. This was a, a box for the, the Apollo 11 book that T Tashin published with a, a spark eroded moon, surface of the moon, which is where one of the places that they landed was uploaded from a satellite and then etched into, spark eroded into a surface of aluminium. You know, more recent products, uh, a uh, series of, of, of things for the bathroom, taps. These pieces are just coming on the market in September, actually, for an Australian company, a fantastic Australian company called Coroma. And they, uh, they really lead the world in the development of um, bathroom products, specifically with a view to um, low consumption of water. You know, Australia really leads the world in how to use no water because basically they don't have any water. <laughs> so lovely to be working with a company in Australia which is my homeland. Unfortunately they're few and far between but a very comprehensive range. This is a more recent project that I designed for Pentax which came out almost a year ago now. Um, I think that's been quite a success. You know, and again, the, the book really shows the process from the digital imagery, rapid, rapid prototyping, you know, choosing samples, um, approving the initial um, injection mouldings, just to make sure that everything was running smoothly along the way. More kids' products, and even a bunch of, a range of clothing that I have designed for G-Star. You know, I've been working with G-Star for the last um, uh, long time, actually, almost eight years. And a lot of these garments actually have become sort of cult garments. You will have seen celebrities wearing these at the MTV Awards and things like that. The Concord print was quite a cult, cult object. Um, the Galaxy jacket was also pretty popular. Um, Apparently very popular with Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs>